So you've gotten yourself a shiny new Galaxy Note 2. You love the phone and you fill it up with music, videos and games. What happens next? You run out of storage space. Well, the phone supports microSD you think. So you pop on a 32 or even a 64 gig microSD card only to find that you can't transfer apps or games to the microSD. Well, even some media players don't detect media of microSD. If that's the predicament you find yourself in, or you think you will find yourself in in the future, then this tutorial's for you. Here, we are gonna swap the internal storage with your microSD card so that the phone believes that your microSD card is in fact the internal memory and installs our all apps and games to it, effectively converting your 16 gig Galaxy Note 2 into a 32 or even a 64 gig model. Okay, let me explain. Currently, this is a 16 gig Galaxy Note 2. I've got 10.36 gigs as my internal storage, and I've got a 32 gig card inside. All right. So uh, once this, once we are done with this uh, method, once we are done with this tutorial, my phone is going to be having 29.23 gigs as my device memory, and 10.36 uh, gigs as my uh, SD card. The prerequisite here is that you need to have a Galaxy Note 2 GT N7100 and you need to be rooted and have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. Don't worry if you have not done that already. A link to my tutorial on how to root the Galaxy Note 2 and get Clockwork Mod Recovery can be found in the description. Hit the link to XDA forums from the download section in the description and that will take you to this thread on XDA forums. Just scroll down. and uh, you will find the download links here cwm slash twrp version only so over here just pick the latest one the one that does not say depreciated not supported the latest one which is currently i'm sorry uh, the latest one which is currently revision 1.01 .01. if there's a later one just download it once you download it transfer it to the internal or external memories uh, of your phone and once you've done that Go ahead, hold up volume, power, and the home buttons at the same time. So just keep holding it, and your phone will reboot, and you can let the keys go once you see Samsung Galaxy Note 2 displayed on screen. Now this will boot you into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So let me just zoom in a bit here. Alright guys, we are in clockwork mode. You know what, let me just pull the phone up instead. Yeah. Alright, so uh, now scrolling down, select install SIP from SD card. And depending on where you transfer the Hyperdroid Red Pill kernel, if it's external, select choose SIP from external. If it's internal, select choose SIP from SD card. I have it on my external, so here goes. And right now, just navigate to wherever it is that you have the, uh, you have the file. So here it is, Red Pill revision 1.01. .01. And hit power and select yes install red pill so this will take a few seconds now just select go back and reboot system now and now we just need to wait for your galaxy note 2 to reboot and guys while the note 2 is rebooting you know you can go ahead hit the subscribe and like buttons thanks a lot Alright guys, we're back up. So right now, just go into apps. I mean, let's just double check whether the uh, kernel was installed right. So go into settings, scroll down, about device, and over here, kernel version, it should say red pill. Alright. So now just go back, open, open apps up, and you will find a new app called S Tweaks. So open it up. Alright, so just keep moving to miscellaneous and just scroll down and over here it says XFAT as internal and FAT32 as internal. So depending on whatever it is that your micro SD card has been formatted to, you need to select that. If you're not sure how your micro SD card has been formatted, 
just uh, take your micro SD card out, put it in a card reader, plug it into Windows. Uh, once it pops up as a drive, right click properties and you'll it'll either say FAT32 or XFAT. Alright, if not you can just format it to FAT32 or XFAT. But I, again, from uh, my computer, right click format FAT32 or XFAT. Okay, generally cards that are 32 gigs and lesser will be FAT32 and, and uh, 64 gigs uh, gig cards get formatted as XFAT. This uh, isn't necessarily right every time. There are exceptions, but uh, you can say it's a safe bet that cards 32 gigs and lesser are formatted as FAT32 and uh, higher as XFAT, you know, when you get the cards. So uh, mine is a FAT32 card, so I'm going to select FAT32 as internal. Apply. So now going back, just to show you one more time, going into settings and storage. My internal memory shows as 10.36 gigs and my external SD shows as 29.23. Uh, uh, so right now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, reboot the system or reboot the phone rather. Alright, we're back up. So now going into settings. And storage that you see now my internal memory shows as 29.23 gigs and my SD card shows as 10.4 10.46 all right again guys if you want to go ahead and remove this mod for whatever reasons again go into apps go into S tweaks uh, and again the first time you open up S tweaks it might ask you for to grant uh, super user per permissions just select grant or accept uh, I'm sorry, just go. Just scroll, uh, scroll down and just uncheck it and hit apply. Reboot the phone and your memories will be back the way they were. So that's pretty much it, guys, for my tutorial on how to f how to uh, swap the internal and external memories uh, for your Galaxy Note 2 GT N7100. Uh, for the full written instructions, head on over to cursedforward.com. The link is right up there. Uh, and it's also there in the description. If you guys run into any issues whatsoever, you can hit us up at cusforward.com slash forums. If you have any issues, if you have any questions, just let us know. Hit us up at cusforward.com slash forums. And if you want to stay updated on my latest updates, my latest tutorials and whatnot, you can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or Google+. Plus. Again, all my contact details are in the description. So that's pretty much it guys, I uh, hope you liked the video, thanks a lot for watching and before you go don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon, till then it's Ash from CurseForward.com signing off, you guys have a great day, bye bye now.